Warning before this next story, it just might make your skin crawl. Fox News anchor Sarah Wall is telling us about a new superbug crawling its way through the Gulf Coast. This is a special report. It's a parasite that can live on your scalp. It's been around for generations and is now stronger than ever, making it really hard to get rid of. We were getting out at school and I went to pull her hair up and saw them crawling around. They were head lice. It was horrible. Not at all what nurse and mom Shanna Mosley was expecting or wanting to see on her daughter's head first thing in the morning. What was your initial thought? I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> A natural reaction to head lice, one of the oldest parasites. They're small, they're fast, they lay eggs in our hair, and they eat our blood. They live on the scalp and they bite the scalp. Pediatrician Dr. Nancy Wood says we have dealt with these tiny bugs for generations. And over the years, head lice have changed. They've adapted to the specific tactics we use to get rid of them. They have evolved to become resistant to some different medications. Head lice have become a sort of super bug. I've found it quite a few times. And they are everywhere. The common areas for lice would be behind the ears. Hairstylist Brooke Daggetter Scoggin knows exactly what to look for. You can just part the hair off to where it lays down. Because the tiny parasites set up residents the same way every time. And you'll see the nits are usually attached to the hair somewhere along this area or the nape of the neck down at the bottom. There are a lot of negative stigmas associated with head lice, but the truth is they like clean hair. Dirty hair is harder for them to grab onto. And they don't jump or fly. They actually crawl from head to head. But consider this. Head lice can live without a human host for about 48 hours. So beware of that airplane seat, that rental car seat, that movie theater seat, even that office chair could be a source of head lice. And of course, they're spread from head to head contact and when we share hair accessories like brushes or hair ties. Hats or helmets can also move the parasites from child to child. It is extremely difficult in some cases to get rid of lice. That's because you not only have to kill the head lice that are crawling through the hair, you also need to kill all of the eggs. Kim Waters is the owner of Smiles in Styles Salon. She's helped lots of families oust the parasites. Taking every section one by one, you want to make sure that the hair is wet. You um, put conditioner in it to make it a lot easier for you to comb through the hair and literally getting every knit. Experts say you should get with your doctor to kill the crawlers. Otherwise, these tiny superbug parasites will hang around, lay eggs, hatch, and lay some more eggs. Head lice are happy to have a host. Anyone can get head lice. Shanna can attest to that. It doesn't matter who you are, and it is no fun. I asked Dr. Wood about diseases associated with head lice, and she says that's not really something to worry about. They don't spread diseases. Also, be sure to contact your child's school or daycare. You don't want to get rid of it at your house, only then to catch it back from someone at school. We have a lot more information for you on our website. We have an interactive quiz that you can take. You can test your knowledge on head lice. We also break down a number of the myths about head lice. You can find it all on our website, fox10tv.com.